These are called caltrops or tire deflation devices, and they're actually being found in the vehicles of cartel operatives. Why? What are they used for? Well, it's simple. You throw them like this at the tires of a vehicle chasing you, and it's going to pop their tires, and you're going to be able to get away. So it's been causing concern for law enforcement since about 2008. It was a little bit quiet until now, until Texas DPS actually encountered a vehicle that had these inside stashed in that truck, and it prompted Border Patrol to kick out an alert, warning agents about the use of these tire deflation devices. So these ones were found when Texas DPS initiated a vehicle pursuit. It resulted in the subjects bailing out near Uvalde. Now, neither the driver nor the occupants of the vehicle were actually found. Texas DPS says these devices would be used by a more advanced smuggler who has been working for the criminal cartels for years, looking for some way around law enforcement. We started seeing caltrops. Now, this particular instance, uh, we haven't seen them in years. Cartels and criminal smugglers, smuggling organizations are already going to find ways to, you know, evolve based on what we're doing, law enforcement. Um, they're going to change their tactics. If they are constantly being pursued by law enforcement, getting arrested by law enforcement, they have no other way to get away. Now, law enforcement does use similar tools and tactics in order to stop these low drivers. Videos like these showing the tire spikes in action, spike strips, if you will, a tactic Texas DPS has been using, but now finds being turned against them. One incident Texas DPS was involved in, a truck driver fled from troopers in LaSalle County that led to a pursuit and a crash after troopers deployed those spike strips. That's when eight illegal immigrants bailed out. In another chase in Kinney County, two teenage smugglers who said they paid nine grand to move migrants, they were spiked. They hit a light pole after reaching 120 miles an hour. Both were arrested and charged. Now, law enforcement sources tell me that these kinds of devices have been used recently on ranch roads, and they were successful. Using a tire deflation device or a caltrop like this, well, it's a third degree felony. Hey, thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget, click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.